Welcome to the Suerte del Molino farm, Andalusia in Spain. We are in nature. Nature is amazing. So are we. This is a big day. We have installed the irrigation system on the whole farm, except the small area of the garden around the house must still be done but that's easy to water with by hand and uh, we are ecstatically happy we are beyond ourselves this is better than sliced bread this is the ultimate the pinnacle the great revelation drip irrigation it started off as a an enormous irritation but now it is pure joy we have now on this farm three sectors that run off a pump and then we have the garden around the house that run of the water tank. These three sectors, the complete area on the east of the creek, we can water in one hour. It used to take me 18 hours before. And then the west, we have divided into two sectors and each of them we can uh, irrigate in an hour that also used to take 18 hours before. So, we are wondering what we're going to do with ourselves. We have time. We have time to do all these things that the community suggests that we do. Amazing. So it all starts here with the water pump. I have handed in the old one for a service and that's now available. So I have a backup pump, which is great. So the first thing is we have to decide do we pump east or west? And uh, then on the west, we have another valve that separates the uh, land into two sectors. But on the east, it's only one. In both cases, east and west, we pump the water to the highest uh, swale and then we follow the contour and I am quite happy to say it works well tomorrow the next day we receive much more of this uh, mulch this is corn ma mice We have emitters and then we have an extension, spaghetti. We don't want it covered by mulch, the emitter. And it's also easier for us to see if it really works, how much. Wonderful. Walking towards the west. The sunset side, there are some clouds, so it might be another spectacular sunset with all these oranges, orange and red colors on the low clouds. So here on the west, there is a 
second valve in these 40 meter 40 millimeter pipes and then just for the fun I have a T in there where I can connect my 32 millimeter pipe should there be water needed somewhere then I'm ready I also bought some uh, fluorescent paint to paint all these things spray as Steve suggested I can see them so this is now the third sector one is on the east and then one on the top line of the contour swale and then the third one is coming down to all the lower swales as this irrigation system is now I can actually water the whole farm in three hours and uh, what a delight what an improvement what a life changer what a time saver and also saving a lot of water I'm so amazed by how little it is taken from the cistern and uh, how well it penetrates around the trees so we will bring the mulch down here as well the leaves of the Paulovnias are still up that means they are happy and uh, this is an indicator for us whether we should water or not it works well I had all sorts of <coughs> unwarranted fears uh, about here at the lowest part of the farm more water will leave the emitters than the higher part and it's not true I have even learned the difference between flow and pressure so uh, if I enlarged the, the pipe this is 16 millimeters if I now put in 32 then the more water will flow but the pressure will be less so uh, in a, an uh, irrigation system it's important to have pressure and therefore a 16 millimeter pipe works extremely well the swale here below the brush the khara and there's a pipe this is the lowest part of the farm and there's a pipe coming up there coming out here where the dog is which is higher than the lowest part and it still works well why I don't know I don't care as long as it works I'm happy there is the saying it's only impossible until it is done and uh, for me a person of little faith that I can do these things somehow I'm proud of myself I overcame my fear and I just did it and it works happy days the pond still some water the ducks I'm ashamed to say apologies guys I've ne neglected you they have not even been in the water 
but they grew a lot. And they like dog food as well. It's your turn. I will make a floating device and put a better cage on top of it with a uh, kind of staircase walkway that they can get into it and then I will have two ropes I can pull it to where I want it to be but first I have to get these monsters to accept these uh, ducks that will be another challenge it's amazing how quickly the instinct can kick in and they forget everything they have learned so they have to learn to live with these guys it's not instinct instinct is to eat them Till next time, goodbye.